testings are failing, you need to find out where is it failing, you need to find out what controller is happening, what problem is it having. They have a great control module that will help you with that. And if you don't know about that control management module, prepare to be amazed. That has saved me for more than once in a, a, a application that I have. So uh, Dave, if you wanna take over, I wanna stop sharing my screen so you can quickly uh, talk about that. Sure, absolutely. How was my transition? Did I make it? That's yeah, smooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go screen two here. So I'm just gonna create a uh, simple application and put a really bad controller in here. So I'm calling this my broken project. Uh, originally I wrote this module for Windows only. It kind of worked in web. I've made some changes now, so it does behave in web. Um, I'm much better now, so uh, let's just stick with those. And so we ran across an issue years ago where uh, an application just started misbehaving. We didn't know why. Um, we knew we had added something. We just didn't know what it was we added uh, or if what we added was affected by something we'd added previously. So let me add uh, it's a quick business object here. First name, last name, that's all we need. Check my connection string. All right, we're good. We're going to our local DB, that's fine. So what we ended up doing originally when we had this problem was we started pulling out controllers. We literally went to every single controller and commented it out until we finally found the issue. And that took a long time, uh, was disruptive and oh, fantastic. Let me go to uh, SQL Express. Um, you're prone to errors that way. You may remove something from your project you didn't intend to, comment something out and then uncomment it twice, uh, that kind of thing. So we built this little controller management module that allows you to turn on and off controllers at runtime. And it's a really easy way to go and diagnose what controller might be causing that issue. Okay. Dave, welcome to the demo effect. Yeah, right? Yeah. I was running SQL earlier today. That wasn't a problem. Let me... Uh... Hey, Dave, I had a talk uh, this Saturday on a Spanish talk in a conference, and in the in, in starting the conference, my computer stopped getting the audio. So no headphones, nothing. So oh, wow. we have to switch in a live with like 400, 500 people watching. We have to switch to my phone. So my presentation, the slides, I couldn't even see it. They was that small. And wow. It worked out. I did it the best that I could, but again, <laughs> the demo gods, when they don't want to help you, you are done. Well, I'm going to go ahead and blame SQL on this one because I didn't actually change anything. I uh, just ran it again and up it comes. <laughs> so all good. All good. Uh, so I'm going to create a new client here. We'll call it Bob Smith. Right, quick and easy. I'll open this up. It's lightning fast. Let's go ahead and add a bad controller. So I'm going to go ahead in. My bad controller. Of course, you can use a uh, one of the templates if you're adding controllers, right? Add a view controller. Uh, I'm just going to do a simple class-based one. And I'm going to make this on detail views only. We had that. Uh, we had that uh, last time I was uh, I was there. So get uh, and check this. Uh, the last community stand-up I was on, so it's a, or two months ago, to have to, the difference between view controller and the generic one, so. Mm. Okay, so I've thrown in a five second sleep on this um, just to prove that this is not the desired effect. 
And while this seems far-fetched that somebody would put it in sleep like this, uh, people do the equivalent thing of uh, the wait time based on uh, loading up external data synchronously rather than asynchronously. So in this case, if I double click on this, we get to wait five seconds and something's clearly wrong. So you may have added this controller uh, then and the service doesn't behave, you know, a couple months down the road and you're going, why, why isn't this here? So to diagnose this, I've actually created uh, the NuGet package. I call it NuGet or Nugget, I call it NuGet. Let me, oops. Manage. There we go. And if we look for, if we just do Llama Chant, you'll see our controller management module sitting here. So I'm going to add that into the dot module project. It is platform agnostic. And this actually only runs um, if you're in debug mode and the debugger is attached. So you can have it in your production app at, at all times if you want to. Let me go to our module.cs. And like you would add any, any module, uh, you can drag it in from the toolbox. There we go, toolbox. So controller management dot module shows up here. Let's so click and drag that into our required modules. And that is it. So we'll run that again. Perfect. So same thing. It still takes five seconds to open something. When I go up to the tools, nope, where did it go? Hey, now. There's that demo effect again. Let me it's try that again. Yeah. Controller management module. It is in there. So I, I see we're having some discussion on the chat and uh, Juan Santiago has said that we're developer and that's why we had tested. I want to give my two cents quickly. And I have some friends working at Microsoft and they actually are the deprecating the tester role. The developer and the tester thing is the same one. So the developer need to have in mind when they're writing the code, how are they going to develop the test or the other way around when you're doing, before doing your code, doing your test, because that will save a lot of hassle on the disconnection when you're doing tests. I don't know, I'm sorry to interrupt Dave, I'm gonna let you continue quickly. I don't know if Dennis can uh, add on the chat how DevExpress is doing it, but definitely uh, the friends that I have in Microsoft, the, the, the tester thing and the development thing is just one right now. It's not both like it was before. Please continue Dennis, uh, Dave, sorry. No problem. Uh, my controller's not showing up. That's fantastic. Rather than diagnose that, I'm going to pull this out. I'm just going to grab the project directly. Uh, and... Dave, ch check uh, module.designer CS to make sure it's... Oh, that's true. Save, that. Save all. <laughs> yeah. Try that. It is it's in there. there. Yeah, yeah, it, now it's there. <laughs> we didn't check earlier. <laughs> I tried this in two other applications before we did this, and it worked fine. So of course, it's the uh, it's the demo effect. Nate, you are okay. the first doing a demo, so expect for us when we're trying ours that it will have the same type of issue. So yeah, right. And again, I always like when I see someone that I look up to and they're having the same issues that I have. So I feel, I feel, in, I feel like, okay, it's not only me. My, my <laughs> demo actually was broken this morning that um, I said I will clean up my desktop because I have a huge mess. So I will hide all the icons and put it in a folder that is called before the meetup yeah. so I can take them off after that. And then my demo stopped working. So I need to figure it out that I changed some folders routes. And that's why you need testing, basically. Because you don't know when you're going to move anything else that will break your code. Sometimes, lately, I've been doing tests and I thought, like, 
I didn't even touch that. How, how come it's broken? It's like the pad, permissions, roles, you name it. So but that's, that, that's, that, that's the thing with such a complicated uh, uh, setup, like with, with uh, uh, Visual Studio, uh, where you have plugins and all that kind of stuff and nougats and that just get throwing every, in every piece of code, blah, 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 blah. blah. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, really hard to test that stuff in a, in a nice patient way so you don't uh, get out of control. Uh, actually, I mean, there is some discussion in the chat about testing. Getting right? Well, this is the topic all, of the, all this, all is the stuff. this is the topic of the, of this yeah. era, but uh, what I want to yes. say is that, uh, I mean, I know that all type of testing will be good for the project, but I think that the one that will be more common will be like the integration testing, because you really want to see how the stuff talks to each other. Because yeah. you, you need test, you no, get it, the function, no, and then there it, just, is, there it is, okay, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, it's working, good. good. I was just making time, <laughs> sorry for that, bye. Oh, good. Yeah, so I'll, I'll switch around on the, uh, the NuGet package button. Um, this is here. Uh, so I, it's included my project in the Visual Studio um, solution, and then just dragged it on like I normally would. If I open up the show controller settings, it's going to take five seconds because it's showing a view. Same problem, perfect. So I've modified this now so we only show custom controllers. Basically, uh, you can come in here and just turn things on and off. So I get rid of that one, and then you have to reproduce the view. So I close this, I reopen it. Now it's instant. Nice. So it's a great way to turn off uh, controllers individually, figure out what what controller is problematic. Uh, there is an option to show all controllers, including the Dev Express controllers. Uh, there's an option in here to enable or disable all custom controllers. So if you have hundreds in there, you don't have to click them one by one. You just click it and they all turn off or all turn back on. And same thing for selection. If you had a bunch selected, um, you can just disable them or re-enable them. Yeah, perfect. That's awesome. So it's I, awesome. I have used it uh, before and it's definitely awesome. Maybe it looks simple now, but that functionality, so you have a lot of controllers that are on the same view, a lot of things working, and you can say, okay, deactivate all mind controllers. Okay, it's not my issue. Let me search for it. Oh, yes, it's my issue. Let's find which one is. Let's deactivate one by one. It's definitely a time saver and a huge, huge uh, uh, productivity booster. So I would definitely Dave, recommend this is a great model. Dave, I, I, had, a, I had projects with like 4,000 controllers or something like this. And it's like uh, in completely spread out on, 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 on 20 or 40 modules. And uh, that would be awesome if I had that back then. Hmm. I had a similar thing with like environment variables, but I had to restart all over uh, the, the, the whole application all over again. So that's a, a really, 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 really nice touch on, on diagnosing on single controls. <laughs> is, there, I... is, there, is there currently a way to uh, see the, uh, how long a controller needs to activate? So that's what I was actually just about to mention. That'd be something to be really nice if the DevExpress team added to the diagnostic info. That yeah. you get the yeah. Diagnostic actions is how long did the, each controller take to activate um, to process once the view controls are created? Uh, yeah. and, the, and the deactivation of all three of those, if we got those metrics, uh, that would be really handy to show. Yeah. Because yeah. then you can identify this controller is taking 5, 10, 15 seconds to load up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I tried to do that myself, but without recreating the frames and the, you know, the actual uh, underlying controller itself, yeah. I couldn't yeah. come up with a good way to do it. So yeah. Uh, yeah. maybe we'll add that as a suggestion that uh, Dennis can yeah. take back to the uh, team. And, I, I okay, noted. We did, we did these. Well, noted. Have you... that, that, that's, that's, that's awesome, Dennis. That's yeah. like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> noted. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, we were, uh, Dave, like, you know that we did the same. I mean, we, I mean, Javier, we were having a problem with one project. And Javier told me they have something for this. So we use it. But at that moment, we were more interested on 
knowing how long it takes to load a view controller. Yeah. Because yeah. we want to identify which one was the one who was making the screen slow. So in the end, like Javier did some magic, he used your module, and then we move a lot of stuff because it's easy to throw a lot of stuff in the unactivated method of the view controller. And it's like, oh, it's, I can do here like all the time, like read like 10,000 records and do a calculation for one number. But if you do that too much, your application will be like really slow. <laughs> so I think, I mean, we really love your solution. I think it's amazing. Actually, it's like uh, one of the best ideas that I ever seen uh, for debugging somehow. Uh, Besides that, well, developers say they have a lot of information, good information for, for debugging. But uh, this is a lifesaver, especially if you're a beginner, where you don't know uh, if the controller is activated or not, or why it's activated, or why it's so slow. So I think that for people who is starting, this is an amazing way to figure out how it's working. Yeah, and uh, okay. as Adam uh, pointed out on the chat, not only which controller is being problematic, sometimes you have a controller that is being activated in the ground view. It shouldn't be mm. activated in this view, and you can find out with that model, so that's perfect. Dave, can you can you can you know, uh, uh, show again the the uh, controller settings view? Is the okay? So so it's just that that's just a list of the controllers you have in your solution. So uh, mm. uh, it, it doesn't point out any any uh, problematic controllers uh, that are more than twenty milliseconds uh, to activate or something like this. Yeah, not not currently. Like I said, if, if we okay. can get some yeah, of that, yeah, that information yeah, yeah. Uh, logged at the lower level, then for sure. Or yeah. maybe at some point we can do a twist together and fix it together mm -hmm. as, a, as a community. So, yeah. okay, I, so perfect. Uh, that's amazing. Again, it, it really has saved my life more than once. I don't know if you want to add anything. I never you. saw that before, and I, I really, really, really like this. 